when coming off of an absence like that, uh, that that was not like a one game thing. You were out a while. How, how what is the challenge of being uh, staying sharp enough that you jumped right back in like that without missing a beat? Uh, it's actually really tough, um, especially you know, with the reason I was out. I couldn't do much on the court to, to uh, stay ready. So, um, you know, I was just doing little stuff, all, all the little stuff that I could, form shooting, uh, making sure I'm staying in tune with the, what the team is doing, um, making sure I'm, you know, getting, getting lifts in, a little bit of conditioning as much as I can. Um, and just, you know, more than anything, keep my mind uh, prepared. So uh, it was an it was easy transition. As a veteran, I know you've been through this a lot. You've played for a lot of teams, but the trade deadline's tomorrow, and I'm sure you're aware that as a, a with the premium on three-point shooting in this league, you could help a lot of teams. Is that is that in the back of your mind? And if so, how do you kind of separate it from performance? Yeah, I mean, I would be lying to you if I, if I said it wasn't. Uh, in the back of my mind, I think it's a lot of guys' mind. Um, uh, but, you know, this is my 12th year in this league. Like you said, I, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot been traded before um so you know you just gotta it's part of the, it's part of the, the game and it's part of part of this business part of the nba um you know guys get traded guys go to different teams and and, and uh, once you can cope with that and accept it um you just you know you're able to just go out and and play the game and, and you know let let whatever happens happen you know you, you control what you can control there's things that you can't control and that's one of them Oh, uh, we'll go to James Edwards. Wayne, after the game, and he said it the last few weeks, Dwayne just talks about how this team is different with you in the lineup. Are you able to sense just how much more open the, the, and the spacing is better when you're in there and then you having a chance to watch, just being able to make that parallel? Yeah. Um, you know, being able to watch the games, I was also able to see different areas where I could help our team. Um, and, and uh, you know, obviously as a three-point threat, um, guys, guys respect uh, that ability around the league. So guys play them a little closer. So that opens up lanes for uh, attackers like Jeremy to get in the paint, the line get in the paint, and uh, it makes the game a little bit easier for those guys. So um, you know, those guys are able to get in there and make things happen, make plays, or finish at the rim. So uh, you know, I just try to do that, do those little things, move without the ball, um, create uh, you know situations where the defense has to make a decision, and. Um, you know, those little things that, uh, you know, a lot of the young shooters on our team uh, still have to learn um, that, you know, I try to communicate with them all the time. Thanks, Wayne. We'll go to Omar. Hey, Wayne, earlier in the season, or really when you first got here, there was a lot of talk about, you know, just what you could provide in the locker room, being a veteran mentor. But you're averaging a career high in points this season, uh, uh, your second best three-point percentage. I guess, how has the season compared maybe to, uh, what you expected back in December? Um, I mean, what else would everybody else expect? It? You know, I knew the type of work that I was putting in all the summer. Uh, I knew that uh, when I got my crack at it, once I got my opportunity, um, uh, I was going to take advantage of it. You know, and that's part of this league. Uh, when you get your opportunity, man, you got to be prepared. And uh, I worked, obviously, and it showed it's showing on the floor. Um, you know, I had a great summer. I had a lot of time off. Uh, and, I, and I try to take full advantage of it, and uh, it's paying off for me. We'll go to Rob Beard. Hey, Wayne, uh, Dwayne has talked about wanting to wanting you to take part some of your wisdom and, and try to uh, mentor Frank Jackson and uh, Sadiq and those guys. It, it's just hard to do for a three point shooter. What what can you do to try to spread some of that knowledge? Um, you know, well, there's little things, there's these little details that. Uh, really, really help you. Um, so I try to every day, you know, Sadiq and I have been shooting all season. And I've watched him uh, continue to get better and better with his footwork, um, just understanding how he can get open uh, little gaps and little seams where uh, he can get to where guys can see him. Um, and, you know, Frank, Frank and I haven't worked as much, but uh, watching him, man, he's 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 got some really great, great footwork already. And I asked him about it the other day. I'm like, man, you got some, you know, you got some really good footwork. I mean, where, where'd you learn that stuff from? And I forgot that he actually played with uh, JJ last year, uh, JJ Reddick. So, you know, he was able to already watch uh, a really great shooter and, and emulate a lot of that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, he's already uh, ahead of the curve, but uh, definitely plan to continue to work with those guys and see those guys flourish because uh, obviously the ability is there.